Before we get started, uh, Patrick Jr., come on over here. Uh, last minute Christmas gifts. Santa, if you're watching this. Can I get a uh, LeBron James jersey? All right. You hear that, Santa? Good? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? He's watching. Go on real quick. You got time? What Can else? Can I you get want? a Spider-Man toy too? Spider-Man toy? Reel them off. What about for what about for dad? Uh maybe a basketball. Yeah, God, perfect. Good man. Thank dumbbells. you. Dumbbells. Getting some dumbbells. And some more type hands. That'd be good. <laughs> Sorry about that. Good job. <laughs> All right. Yeah, and I mean, real quickly, the, the, the fans tonight were fantastic. And I know it's been a, a, a week. It's been a week for us. It's been a week for the community. Um, you know, it, it, you think about it, even like with the Sydney game, you know, we had the power surge and there was that delay at half time, and none of the fans left and it got hot and it was humid. And, you know, we came right down to the wire and they were there and then we had the tropical cyclone and then we had the, the flash floods, which were the worst in five decades. And we got stuck in Brisbane and, you know, all you can do is hear about you know, what was going on. And, you know, when we got back, um, you're never sure, like, you know, people got a lot going on leading up to Christmas as well as dealing with this. Um, fan base was fantastic tonight. So it was great to get this win for them. Uh, I know you mentioned it as well yesterday, but... Um, there's a lot, right, where people don't have much to cheer about and uh, hopefully we gave them at least a little bit of comfort for two hours. Um, after that coach's challenge, you really heard them and that was great. So they were really invested in this group. So, um, yeah, fantastic. Thanks to everybody and we'll just keep this thing going as long as we can. Yeah. No, the coach like, is, is, wasn't a foul. So if they want to speed the game up, they might as well just get rid of the challenges. They, they, I, I didn't like the fact we were unsuccessful in the Sydney challenge. Um, and this one wasn't a challenge. Like, if you were to slow down every defensive on ball coverage, Delhi's fouling out, Illy's fouling out, uh, uh, Usher's fouling out, all the best on ball defenders are fouling out. So. Um, he didn't touch him. He navigated. He, he got as narrow and slim as he could. Uh, Contorted his body over the on-ball. Um, and then Nader flops and we're unsuccessful with the challenge. So just get rid of it. Like, it's useless. So um, it was fantastic that the boys were able to stay locked in. Uh, knowing one of our best on-ball defenders, one of the best league on-ball defenders was on four fouls. Um, yeah, ecstatic with the, the collective result. Well, I guess how good is it to have um, guys like Taj and Paul play with four fouls and still remain very, very effective contributors on that defensive side? It makes it challenging. You know, it's interesting where you talk about, like, uh, uh, people who are nominated for, like, defensive recognition and these guys aren't, you know, maybe a little bit of a shout-out every now and again, but I think Taj leads the league in steals. Uh, Bull, you know, statistically will have a fantastic defensive rating. I haven't checked, but I reckon it's pretty good. Um, you know, even Taron, there was one where he got a touch for a hands foul. <laughs> Whatever. So, um, fantastic that we don't get caught up in the moment and we just move on to the next because you can't say anything to them you can't say anything to anybody anymore so um, it's cool that we just move on and we just focus in on ourselves what was it that half time break felt like that first quarter everything kind of went smoothly the second term they put a bit more pressure on and it just slowed down a bit offensively what was the, the talk at half time and, and what right did that shift for the second half it was just really a bit of composure. You know, the, the zone slowed us down and we were clunky in our execution. Um, so it was just a bit of a refresher. There wasn't panic. You know, we, we sort of felt comfortable. And I know South East is dealing with a lot of injuries at the moment and, uh, and it's a tough time of the season for them. And, and I know they're on the road for a stretch and they're down some, you know, real key players. And so, um, you know, we, we, we just wanted to make sure that, you know, if we just stuck to the process and especially playing with pace, um, you know, that we could potentially come out the other end with a win. So a um, little bit of a clean up there and we're good. Tara, what was it like out there? I guess we, it felt like towards the end of the game, particularly everyone was firing. You had Sam W putting him down, Sam M as well. Um, all was, was making a rain. Like, how much easier does it make your job when the guys around you are firing and hitting those shots? 
Yeah, um, it makes it way easier when guys, you know, are hitting shots and, um, you know, that's, that obviously helps my individual game a lot. Um, I think down the stretch we did a better job this game of actually maintaining our pace through the fourth, I think. In a few games where we've had big leads um, in the past, we've sort of went into a little bit of, like playing a little cautious, um, you know, slowing the pace down, but I feel like we kept the pace right up until about two minutes to go when then you can decide what you want to do with it from there. So, yeah, everyone played well, shot well, um, makes my job easier and, yeah, we maintained our pace for sure. The cool thing about, and again, I just got off a phone call with, you know, it's interesting, the, the conversations that I feel throughout the week and, and even the one I just had in the change room then, um, you know, with the unnamed GM uh, of an NBA club. And, it, and it's, you know, the common question we get asked is, you know, what's Taron's work rate and work ethic like, which is laser focused and no issues there. Um, but the cool question they're starting to ask me now is, um, you know, do you think he could lead a second unit in an NBA team? And that was the question that was asked to us now. And it helps when we do have very capable players around him that are able to open up the driving lane for him so he's able to get on the rim and, and, and potentially look to get the end one. Um, you know, the, the, the ability to defend and, and rebound and, and the physicality of him being able to match up against, you know, six, seven power forwards like Nader, who's, you know, experienced in the NBA. So it's cool that they're able to witness that. And obviously that's what they saw tonight. And that was the question that was posed to us. So um, works hand in, hand in hand when everybody's sort of playing to their role. And you saw that with Wardenberg as well, that he's firing and feeling confident within himself and um, doing, you know, outstanding Sam Wardenberg things that he's capable of doing. But, um, you know, that provides the balance for everybody. And so Taron's able to showcase what he's capable of doing and, and, and Bull and, and Taj and Pat and everybody else is just sort of ticking along and this is what we wanted. I think it's the first time in a while it's two in a row, so, you know, there's a good starting point. Um, but, you know, it's a process. We're day to day. Uh, it's important that we, uh, again, focus in on recovery tomorrow and then we're a Sunday against, you know, Team Ops as we prepare for Perth on Boxing Day. And Chris on Zoom. Yeah, Taryn, wanted to ask about, this is your first season living in Cairns, but 40's talked about how it's a, it's a special community to be to be part of, and probably unlike anything else you'll come across in the league. When you go through a week like you have and, and go through this as a community, do you really feel feel part of part of where you're now living? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, for us to be stuck in Brisbane whilst the floods were going on, it was um, you know, it sucked for us to to see that. You know, we want, especially as a you know community owned club. Um, you know, sort of everyone looks out for everyone. Um, it's something that I've sort of felt since I've been here. So uh, for us to just see that at a distance, um, you know, it was devastating for a lot of people. Um, but yeah, it's uh, especially tonight, you know, I, you know, there's things way bigger than basketball. You know, people are losing their homes and stuff mm -hmm. like that. But for people to actually turn up, I didn't know what the crowd was going to be like. But man, it was, way, it was way better than what I expected it to be. You know, I would have totally understood if we had no one in the crowd mm -hmm. you know there's things way bigger than basketball as I said so you know we, we really feel the love um, at the Taipans and you know it's a team for the city you know it's everyone's team it's not ours it's not 40s it's, it's the whole community so yeah we, we really appreciate everyone coming well, What does Christmas look like for you in this part of the world now? For me Christmas just another day to be honest um, probably hanging solo Probably work out, get a lift in. We got um, practice on Christmas Day too. So. Okay, yeah, I'll definitely. We got a game out. Boxing Day, so it's like <laughs> you can't not not have training. Yeah, no, so that's fine. Um, yeah, just another day, which is cool. You know, it's a being a pro basketball player is an easy life. So, if you, you know, obviously you want to spend time with your family, but if you're in a situation where you can't do that, um, you know, I'll make the best of it. Orny, like I said, you've talked about your connection with this Cairns community now, and you've got a young family as well. Um, have you all got through this past week unscathed, okay? And are you going to be able to enjoy Christmas together? Yeah, no, we we're pretty fortunate, and so you were definitely one of the lucky ones, um, you know, because all you need to do is, you know, go eight minutes in either direction and, and sort of see the impact that everyone else has had to uh, go through. So, 
Um, you know, that's again where we definitely feel for everybody who's impacted by it. But uh, look, you know, it's it's um, that's what the community is about. Everyone getting around each other, and uh, for us, it's no different. What are your thoughts on the Wildcats on Boxing Day? Uh, I'm not thinking about it right now. We uh, we'll, we'll process this. We'll do some review. Um, we'll do some recovery, and then we'll we'll lock into that on Sunday. No Thanks, Chris. Thank you.